Let us do a simple example. Here is the grid, which we will work through this example. It has 6 rows labeled 1 to 6, and 6 columns labeled A to F. In this example grid, only one cell is occupied, in this case, by the masjid. The object of this exercise is to find the coordinates of this cell. We will work through this example, step by step, so that you can learn and follow along. We start at the left lower cell, called cell A1. We move horizontally until we are vertically beneath the cell where the masjid lies. Next, from this position, we move vertically up until we are in the masjid cell. This is our answer. So, we can say that the masjid is in cell E6. Next, we will do an exercise. This exercise is based around this diagram. Study it for a few moments for the exercise starts. In this exercise, there are 10 questions, which are based on the grid shown. Answer the questions, by writing the coordinates in your workbook. You will have 30 seconds to do each question. If you need more time, just pause the video. You can ask your parent or teacher to help you. Answer for this exercise can be found on our website. Exercise 1 Which grid square has the masjid? Which grid square has Neelam's house? Which grid square has the church? Which grid square has Sadia's school? Which grid square has Sonia's house?
Which grid square has Lee's house? Which grid square has Halium as house? Which two places share the same row and what is its number? Which grid square contains a number which can be divided by 7? Find the column which contains, just a single number only. We hope you have learned something from this video. Please tell at least 5 people about our work, so they can also benefit. Do visit our website, to see hundreds of free educational videos. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. We regularly bring out new videos, so don't miss out. Please subscribe to get these educational videos.